what is up what is up what is up so after this video you are not going to be at the same level again in terms of the use of the business tool in puzzle app because in this video i'm going to show you literally how to use this tool practically right so if you are ready to start using this tool as a professional then let's get into it good but before that in case you've not watched the first part of this video then you actually have to go and watch it right now because for you to understand everything over here you have to get the knowledge from the first part of this video so just go ahead click the link showing up on your screen right now go and watch it and come back and watch this one for better understanding right basic tool is used for drawing and also creating your own shapes in this lab this is a busier tool and i've explained these tools over here the last time in the first video so we'll probably go and check out that video right now and understand the tools over here so in this particular video we are going to use this tool this one and uh, this one and this one so we are going to use four tools in uh in terms of the busier tool we're going to use two from the busier mode and two from the action mode to learn exactly what we want to learn in this video so without wasting much time let's do the practical right so i'll just delay this because i want us to start from scratch and learn something okay so i, I also got some pictures that i'll be using i mean i took i made a, a sketch of some designs i mean some shapes that i'll use for the practical aspect of this video so i want us to actually get into it so that this video doesn't keep long good so i'm actually going to import the picture that i took so let me import the sketch right away so i have it here let me just crop it so that it becomes a little bit bold on the screen okay so we are going to first off start with this one okay we are going to start with this one and of course at the end of this video you have an assignment that you have to submit just to make sure that you uh, actually get better with the use of this bezier tool so what, I, what i'm going to do right now is to make sure i lock this layer and we are going to trace it out successfully good so to trace it out let's tap on a bezier tool and once we tap on it let's scroll down and tap on this tool over here all right so once we tap on that tool it leaves us with only one anchor point for the bezier tool so what we are going to do is to put that anchor point on one edge of the shape uh the drawing i've made already so i'm going to use this particular move tool to move it to the point that i want it to be okay so i'll put that the kind of over here let's see that's where i want it to be now from that point i can now tap on this so once i tap on it i'll just you know move it straight to this edge this other end over here because that's what i want so i'll just push it over there and also bring it down over here this is like straight straight line so these ones are very easy to do and this is why i want us to learn something you know the bending aspect over here now let's go ahead and tap here then tap here so now we've inserted our anchor points after inserting our anchor points then we have to tap on this tool over here like a pen tool in terms of those who use photoshop that's like a pen tool now what we're going to do is to make sure we we use this to actually adjust it so you have to take your time when it comes to this area you have to take your time and do it the right way okay so let's trace this and see how best it's going to be good so you have to grab the handle over here and make good use of this particular handle then come here grab the other handle as well and make good use of it as well so let's see what we're going to get after this all right so let's move on with the handles like this the handles are what we need to make sure we get what we want okay the adjustment of the handles will give you the shape and everything you want so you must take good care of it in terms of the usage you must use it the right way do not just use it anyhow so i think at this point i will just move on and add another anchor point so to add another anchor point we have to come back and select this again so we tap on it and we tap over here like this okay so what we're going to do over here to make sure this line is straight is to tap on this one again once we tap on it then we tap on this make sure we reduce the anchor over there all right 
so once that is done we can now you know arrange this and move on with what we want to do so we tap on this again and add another point over here and the same thing we did earlier we will have to actually work on the handle over here to give us a perfect you know line all right so i think this is cool now now all we have to do now is to make sure we tap on this over here this is like merge so once we tap on it the cycle or the the shape that we are drawing will be completed so let's tap on it and this is what we are going to see at at this point we also have to go ahead and adjust you know the handle to make sure we have a complete you know shape so at this point we cannot increase the opacity of the shape then you can change the color if you want okay the fill color if you want to change it you can change it and also you can reduce the opacity of it then you can just tap on a check mark and this is what you are going to have and at this point we can turn off our this one and this is what you are going to have okay and this is pretty cool right this is pretty cool in terms of tracing out now if if you look at the shape clearly you could see that there is some sharp edge over here all right and to avoid that sharp edge that's why you have to make good use of your handles okay you have to make good use of your handles to make sure that this sharp edge does not show okay in case you want us to work on it and take off that kind of sharp edge let's try it out and see so that i get exactly what i'm doing now all you have to do is to tap on edit once we tap on edit then we have to make sure this is selected all right this should be selected then we tap on the particular shape then at this point we can just adjust the handle so that it will take uh, take care of that particular straight edge like i said the handle is what you have to work with okay you have to work with the handle so that it will help you now let's start on a check mark and see what we got okay it's still there so let's just play around it so we get it done perfectly all right So I think it is pretty much cool now okay so that's the first part of this video and the second part is what will be a little bit complicated this one is not that much you know stressful so let me show you the second one quickly and we proceed so I'm going to delete this and I'm going to turn out turn on the layer over here and at this point I'm going to tap on crop and select the second part of it the second part of the sketch I made so i'll tap on a check mark and i have it over here like this so i'll lock it and now go back to the bezier tool once i turn it on i'll have to tap on the first one over here which will clear off you know this and you leave us with one anchor point so i'm just going to move the anchor point to one of the lines over here like this so once i move it to that point i can now go ahead and select this so at this point i'll just add one anchor point over here and probably add another one over here as well after adding it i'll tap on the middle one over here which is like the pen tool then i'll go ahead and play with this just to make sure i have everything on point okay so let me play with the handles over here so i believe you can follow what i'm doing over here So we are tracing out this image carefully so that we get every detail okay now once we've traced that part let's go ahead tap on this again then add another anchor point over here add another one over here as well then we try to manipulate it before we proceed so let's see how it's going to be done let's see again it all depends on how you manipulate the handle of the anchor point okay so you have to be careful whilst doing this this is the most important aspect of this bezier tool the way you manipulate the handle that gives you your desired results either your desired results or the one that you are not interested in so you have to be careful in terms of using the handles right so at this point we are going to add another anchor point again probably let's say 
something like we add it at this place then we we'll manipulate it and see what we are going to get okay so let's proceed we add another anchor point again probably let's say at this point then we can now go ahead and close it by tapping on this we tap on this and it will close like this so at this point let's tap on a pen tool this one again and try to manipulate you know what we have over here so let's see okay so this is what we are going to have and at this point let's fill in and probably change the color of it uh, to a different color let's say red and reduce the stroke to zero so we can tap on a check mark and see what we have now if you look at it let me clear off the this one the background so this is what we're going to have and there are some sharp edges okay it depends on how we manipulate you know the handle so let's quickly work on that and get a perfect you know edge of the design i mean the drawing so let's select it tap on the hexagonal tool and go to edit at edit then we have to use this tool to manipulate everything okay So after manipulating it this is what you are going to get so let me take off the background again and let's see so this is a bit perfect right so this is how you can actually use the bezier tool in pixel lab to come up with your own unique shapes that you want okay so like i said i have an assignment for you and it's going to be one of the easiest assignment right so this is what i want you to do go ahead download a chicken egg okay download a chicken egg and you know sketch it okay i mean trace the outline of it a chicken egg is in oval shape so that means you're going to draw oval shape with the bezier tool and after that just post it on instagram and tag me let me have a look at it and see how best you are actually improving with the use of the bezier tool right so this goes right here from serene arts and i hope to see you in my next video and of course don't forget to like this video and also subscribe that is going to help the channel in the long run right so yeah i'm out